Hello and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal, where last time we cleared our way through the entirety of Futaba's palace, which I called the Temple of Trauma, and we made our way to her room, which is the final obstacle left before we can actually steal Futaba's heart and complete this palace. We have secured an infiltration route, so now we gotta do is send our calling card and get ourselves into Futaba's room so that we can actually access the treasure and we'll be set and ready to roll. Before we can do that, it's time to go to bed. I'm not gonna bother do anything fancy now, I'm just gonna get in bed, go to sleep, and then we'll wake up ready for, to rock and roll tomorrow, unless, I swear to god, if someone wants to try to spend time with me today, I'm gonna tell you to piss off. We don't have time for this. No, you will not be intruding. No. No. N you're not intruding. I mean, you can try, but you're not gonna, it's not gonna work. Because I'm not hanging, I'm not hanging out with you tomorrow. We're going to the palace, and we're going to, and we're going to get, well, I guess, I guess we're going to our house, so we can get into our room. Then we're going back to the palace. 20 days left before Medjet deadline. You're gonna send a calling card? Oh, will you shut up already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends to visit, whatever. It's like, it sounds like you see someone's going downstairs. I would rather us just go to the freaking palace. Or, uh, you, you know what I mean. We don't need to spend time with her, with, with, with Yusuke. You tried, you tried to force me into this before and it didn't work. You're not gonna force me into it again. Can I just jump straight to the, yeah, let's just go to the hideout. I forgot I could do that. I can use my assist to just jump straight to the hideout. Charge into Futaba's room. There's no point thinking it over now. Well, I got the calling card, so let me know when you decide. This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between, so make sure you're ready beforehand. Actually, another thing about it, I guess it's probably best that we restock on our. Uh... It's probably best that we restock on, on, on healing supplies before we actually go back in there. So let's, let's do, let's, let's can I warp out of here? Okay, let's just let's go to the clinic and buy what we can real quick. First things first. Thanks. Please and thank you. Yes, please. You yes, please. All right, that should work. That should be good enough. That should be good enough for us to head back into the palace. Take care. Hopefully, I think. I mean, the big, the big thing was that it was the SP adhesives. So can I equip that just for everyone right now? Um... Maybe I hold on. Let's can we equip? Let's go to the equip menu. Uh, for me, let's, I I don't really need it that much. But the but my teammates absolutely do. Okay, where is it? Here it is. Oh, I can only. Oh, piss! I can only. God damn it! I can only. Well, that would have been good to know before I um. Hmm. So you can only buy one at a time. I thought I thought you could. I thought it was like a buy one for the whole party thing. Well, crap. Okay, lesson learned for next time. Uh, so, to make up for that, I guess let's get this off of me, because I don't need this. I don't need this at all. I guess I'll just, um, I guess I'll put this on, I don't know. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and do that. So who needs it most? Probably Makoto, right? Either Makoto or on. They need their abilities. So I'll go with Makoto, probably needs it most out of everyone else. So now I know for next time that I need, I need to buy multiple of those for our party members. Okay, duly noted. Duly noted. All right, now we're ready to assemble everyone at the hideouts. And now we can go. All right, send calling card. Hey. Reminds me. You still have all the wills at the palace. Are you all right with that? Might be able to grab them when they were the treasure, but the job of the would recommend it. Oh, it's fine. We can do it. Sure I'm not worried about it at all. Sees the calling card. We'll need to head straight into her palace. Is that okay? That's fine. Let's do it. I because I know where the where the will seat is, and it turns out it was exactly where I so thought it was. On doing this? Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Even boss is forbidden entry. Yes, that is the best course of action. You know a method. I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Wait, that's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. An eyeball? What's this? Huh. 
When did it get on here? the other you is this some kind of hallucination it's different from usual how long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world blaming myself for what for your mother's death don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment what happened before your eyes what happened to your mother the truth why did you choose to rely on the phantom thieves that's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? <gasps> if so, I will kill them in your world. I... What should I do? Historically, the answer is have an awakening. Sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. You should have told me you were going to come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. I'm not mentally prepared. Yeah, well, guess what? You're not gonna ever be mentally prepared for anything in the rest of your life. You don't let us in right now. Easy for you to say. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? The other me? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me some time. Ten seconds. That's too short. At least, at least minutes, please. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. All right, I'll open it now. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? science information technology biology psychology how do you live in this room like seriously the floor is just a giant th this is worse than airlock shows his little little suite on on baker street or whatever this is this is literally worse than that that place was a pigsty this is even worse somehow the floor you can't even see the the ground beneath you it's just littered in books and newspapers and i ugh. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? Is, is she under the bed? Or in the closet? The closet? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end. Hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped Speaking again. of Greatest Attorney Chronicles references... I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this, this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Wow, she talked! We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? She understood it? Well, why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help... You could have just asked for it. Because I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. That, did not, that, did, that was not a helpful answer. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Hey, Eggs Benedict, how'd you know about the hole in the door? Well, I just knew about it. Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. 
Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive science. Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Yo, maybe save this for later? Seems she's been through some serious shit, so... True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Ryuji, you are not one to talk. Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My, my mom was the one who killed her was... It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. It's just that... I went through a lot myself, and I... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! Uh, <laughs> not quite that straightforward, but thanks for the cooperation, I suppose. Come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it, it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was... Open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I'm just perpetually- Like, I know what there's other things I should be focused on right now. In this scene. But I just can't get over how much of a pigsty this room is. I see. No, I, 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 that would Okay, when I said we can't do it right now, I didn't mean go back into the closet, Futaba. No, you fool! No, 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 we need you out here. We need the door open. But we st we can't do it right here, right now. It takes time to do this. That doesn't mean going back into the closet is not going to accelerate the progress. It's going to make it happen even slower. No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Oh, I think we that, that was my watch was made crystal clear. Um, Futaba... How much do you know about the cognitive world? Evidently very little. I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone. All it takes is faith, trust, and a little bit of pixie dust. An app? Wait, wrong story. Yes, by entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? I, I guess yes isn't an option, so... Of course she can't come with us. Well, she's gonna have her awakening here, obviously. I'll leave it to you then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't have her read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. Well, you know how to fix that problem? Step out of the closet, why don't you? You could just come out. It's embarrassing. Oh what? my god. I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Oh, great. Morgana. What could possibly go wrong with this master plan? Okay. The cat will get the job done. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> no. I'm going to die. Oh! Ah, 
awesome. My favorite. Good. Ah! Kitty, you again? So, what were you going to do if she didn't like you Mor Morgana's presence in that room might have actually made things worse cuz he didn't actually do anything. Oh great. The, the lightning Morgan will be able back at it again. But he didn't do it. He just kind of chilled there, waited for her to read it, and then left. Like, he didn't actually say, hey, read it, or didn't do any kind of subliminal messaging to make her read it. He's like, eh, whatever. Pal's security level is so high, it can feel all the way out here. Now it's just, that's just the desert heat. Because obviously you're totally up for getting your heart stone. What's up with this? I mean, this place is really unusual. Oh, what was the first clue? The giant Indiana Jones boulder, perhaps? Either way, there's only one thing for us to do now that we have set the calling card. No matter what we got to face, we're going to take that treasure for sure. Hopefully, okay. Well, oh great. That's not a that's not an agonizing screen effect to keep flashing red like that. That's that's lovely. Okay. Well, first things first, we have ourselves a um we have ourselves a will see to go after. So I was completely correct. I I, I guessed at the end of the last episode that the next will seed um was uh the next will seed the one the one we were missing was had something to do with the red the, the red lights on the uh because there was there were the blue lights that we saw but we couldn't actually do anything with them for some which was weird right i didn't want to do that run go 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 okay so what we want to do is we're going to get up here and then run across the balls this way because there's, there's the thing this is what i missed up here it's because like i knew there had to be something that you can do with those lights but i didn't know what because i didn't find a code anywhere since so the code's up here and the code is uh activated of course and the code is going to be, it would show me, yeah. R01100, and, okay, so I, I guess I have to activate them both, okay, so it's R01100 and B111, which, as we recall from last episode, these are binary codes that we can input into the lights down there, and that will allow us to, to reach the final will seed, so... Let's go ahead and drop down here. I lies. I can't drop down here, but I can. Yeah, I got it. Don't worry. I I know. I know. Yep, I got it. Thanks, game. Again, I for, let's just fast forward this. I know. I know what we have to do. Set over here. Uh, jump across the gap. Drop down. Are there any enemies nearby? I'm hoping there won't. Are there any enemies nearby? It doesn't look like there are any enemies nearby. I think we're in the clear. Okay. So, uh, for the red. So I guess we'll do the, the blue lights first. So blue lights is. We just need to disable these two right here, and we'll be fine. So let's turn this one off, and then we turn the one, the turn off the one next to it, like this, and then we're set. And then for the other one, it's the reverse. It's that those two are the only ones we need to keep on, uh, and then everything else needs to go off. So this one needs. Oh wait, no, wait, wait. It starts. Does it start? Uh, it starts. Okay, no, it starts down here. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Good, good thing I checked. Good thing I checked. Okay, so. This this one's uh, this one needs to go off right here, like so. And then the two at the end need to go off as well. And that should be enough. Hopefully the order's correct. I mean it should be because the red light starts down there, so this should be correct. And I can hit the button up top, which if I've done this correctly and haven't missed something major, this should open the door to my right. Hopefully, let's push it. Push the button. Is it gonna work? Yes, it will. Yes. Unfortunately, there's something guarding the way. So, Wait. okay, yeah, get it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Would you be so kind as to move out of the way long enough for me to run past you? Hold on. Oh. Slowly, but surely. Careful. Careful. And where are you? Where Where are you, Will Seed? I know you're here somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where in this room you are. But it, not that way. Not going that way, that's for damn sure. Can I go this way? That's a trap. Let me guess, I can't just walk over this? Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Because I, I, that's the same symbol on the ground from before when there's a trap. You don't see me. Run, run, run. Hide. Let me hide there, Makoto, please. Thank you. Alright, don't fight you. The pals, the pals security level is way too high. Let's go over here. Let me in. Go open the door. Slice it down. Slice it down. Open the door. Let me in. And there is our third and final will seed. Nice. All right. Mission accomplished, everyone. We done did did it. So now, for as tempted as I am to try to go get that treasure chest out there, I don't want to risk it. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and warp to the to the treasure door after these three combine into something or other. They will combine into the Crystal of Wrath. Got it. All right. Yeah. So I'm we're we're counting on Fortaba having her awakening here. If she does not, oh, I can warp out. Big sad. <gasps> oh my God. Hide quickly. This is not good. You need to stay away. This is uh, this is most unfortunate. Let me out of this room and hide. Spotted a shadow, Joker. Hide, please. Thank you. That was way too goddamn close. I can't go this way. I don't know why I went this way. I can't go this way. Okay, well, so if we went this way, we might as well open the chest now. If we went all the way here, we may as well... Okay, now go and hide, hide, hide. I can't jump that way, I don't think. I yeah, I can't, I can't go that way. I have, to, I have to go the long way around. Okay. Just take this one step at a time. Just use our minds. Take a step at a time. Take this nice and slow and steady. Oh, my dear God. Hide there. And then... Run! Hide again. Okay. Just carefully make our way past this. Keep hiding. And then run for the hills. All right, did we escape? I think I think we escaped. There we go. Stealth mission accomplished. We made our way past all the enemies. And all we got to do is jump back across the... Hold on, jump over here. Jump back across the balls. Drop down here. Over on this way. Oh, I've, I've blundered. I've blundered. I've made a mistake. Drop down. Got, drop down. Drop down. Drop down. All right, I may have made some tactical errors. There may have been a couple mistakes that have been made in this process. I might have accidentally screwed myself because I think I can't get past that now. Um, so how's life? How you doing? You having a good time? We're dead. We are. We are dead. Or am I just so wait? Am I soft locked? Can I not? Oh, I can't. Uh oh. Wait, can I just go up? Uh. Okay. Have you forgot about me? Thank you. For, okay, that's good. Okay, I thought I thought I might have been soft locked there for a second. I thought that I might have just been on it. Like I thought that he was going to stay there forever, but it appears that thankfully he forgot all about me after a little while. So now we're clear to just run, leave, goodbye, and oh my god, we made it out of there somehow. Okay, let's go run to the top. And for the love of God, I need let's let's stop. Let's let's do away with the freaking red lines everywhere, please. I beg you. Hope you read the calling card. I mean, after all the trouble we went through, she better damn well better have read it. Alright, open it up. Please let me in. It's open. Let's go. Nice. Chargers of Hell, let's finish this. Let's finish this fight. Beat me up, Scotty. This is not what I was expecting. So this is the place represents Vitaba's room. The heart of the hacker, alright. Where's the treasure? This Getting a strong signal from up above us. Oh, oh, all the way up there, huh? Just, just, just up there. Just all the way to the top of this massive structure. Joy. I mean, that won't be a pain to get through at all. Okay, well. I, am I going to have to fight things on the way up? Because that would be annoying if I did. I was hoping for kind of a... Oh, my God. Oh, this might be frustrating to deal with. Okay, so... I'm guessing that because this way is blocked with an enemy, you're the way I have to go. I'm gonna guess that I'm not gonna get lucky enough to assume otherwise, so hide here. Oh, I noticed. Nope, you saw me. Too late. Okay, goddammit. I was trying to get to a hiding spot, but as usual, it never works when I needed to. So, now we're fighting these enemies. Would have preferred to go into the final battle with everyone's SP at maximum, but... It's fine. It's whatever. It's we we can we can just mop the floor with these guys. One of them's already weak, so that's good. And one of them's already dead, actually, so that's even better. Now Morgana can do Morgana things to miss like a fool. Great job, Morgana. You let me down. Never on never on to on par with when I when I need you the most. Uh, do we have? Can we analyze you to see to see what you have to deal with? Nope. We have no idea. All right. Well, in that case, let's just go ahead, let's go for an attack. Yeah. Oh, okay. On's Aunt, gonna do her thing. They're entranced. Makes our job easier, I suppose. And fortunately, that happened to you. Okay, that's great. That's great. Oh, yeah. That that is actually that is actually great though. Technical shot. Okay, good. You're getting low. On is shaking. That's fine. Just go for a technical attack. Good. Uh, I have another shot. All right. He's getting low. 
And glare sharpens. So what is that? What's that gonna do? Nothing, I suppose. Okay, just finish the job, Okoto. Finish him. Yep, good, good, very good. And we've seen. Okay, well, since this, this is the first time we've seen it this episode, so I'll let this one play. But usually, I think I think my rule is gonna be I'll let each I'll le I'll let each animation play once. Uh, for the I'll, I'll let each animation play once per episode. But when it, if it repeats multiple times an episode, I'll skip it then. Just, just so we don't. Just so you guys can still see it without having it feel too repetitive. Oh, more, huh? That's lovely. Well, at least two of them are already weak. So, it's better than nothing. And also two of them are already almost dead because more. Yeah, I think I made a good choice in giving the SP adhesive to Morgana above all else. I think there, are, there have been great decisions that have been made here today. All right, come on, finish the job. Nice. Yeah, I just, once again, I don't even do anything. And you can give me money. And then we can go on to separate ways. But as I, I'm, if the treasure is not along this path, I will be the big sad because it means I, I will mean that I have fought, fought all these enemies for no reason at all. So let's hope, let's hope this leads me to the direction that I want it to go. And I got a new thing. Cool. Got another. I got two new things actually. More enemies to fight, or am I going the correct way? This didn't, this was, this was not the correct way to go, was it? This was not the correct way to go at all, was it? Okay. What do I get? Is that, that's what you want? Okay, it's up there. Okay, okay, so I think we have gone the right, I think this is the right way, actually. So I just gotta go around here, race up these stairs, and, oh my god! Hi there. Luck. Luck, 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 luck of the highest caliber. Okay, treasure's in here. Joker. Yep, okay, there we go. That wasn't that bad, but I, okay, so I was going the correct direction. Let's go. Let's do it. Where's, where's ready's ever gonna be? Let's 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 go do this. If I use this, I can change my heart. Vocal input. Fu, Fu, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house. Candidate found. And then something about distortion. 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 Hmm. Not again. You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer! It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! It's your fault! Murderer! No! <sighs> That's right. I remember now. Back when they were here, I... I messaged Doom in the chat and... Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. I can go in now? You're a plague! You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! Don't come near me! It's your fault! I can't take this anymore! Beginning navigation. This is getting increasingly uncomfortable to listen to. Oh, great. Welcome to Shrek Swamp. Hell, this ain't what I was imagining. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? There is that over there. That's it? The treasure must be inside. We're gonna find the Ark of the Covenant. Be careful. T treasure. There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Is it a shadow? Then no. Then it's not Futaba. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, what the? This is insane. <laughs> um. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. What the? Great! Now we're fighting her mom. What love! What a lovely day we're having. Oh, look at it fly about! 
We can't reach it like this. You've got no other option. Let's take it down with our guns and skills. Persona! Great, that did barely anything. Y you may as well have laughed at it and it would have done more, it would have done probably more don't. Well, at least it missed. Literally laughing at it probably would have done more damage than what you've just done. Oh my god. Not good. No, don't do it again. Oh my god. Okay, so we're just dead then. We can't, we can't possibly survive. There's no way, there's no way we're gonna survive here. I, there's absolutely no way. When we deal damage at that rate, I just, no, oh, the beast that rules the palace. What fun. This isn't gonna do anything, is it? I guess it's doing something, but it's negligible damage, so I don't even know why I bother trying that one. We, oh, I, I didn't even heal Morgana. I've made, I've blundered. Morgana, please heal yourself, please. Thank you, good God, I blundered. I didn't heal you, I, I should have healed you. I, I, I made a mistake, but at least you healed yourself. I'm guessing it's gonna dive bomb us, and we're gonna die immediately unless we guard. Is it gonna dive yeah, I had a feeling. Guard, please guard. When's it gonna strike? Just guard. On, keep up. Guard, guard. I don't trust this. Guard it. Guard yourselves. Yep, good idea. Good guard, guard, guard. Please guard. Thank you. It's gonna dive bomb. It's gonna hurt real bad if we don't do this. I guarantee it. Oh my god. Even with guarding, Jesus. We can't, we, we don't survive, there's, there's no way. There's absolutely no way we can possibly survive this. It's dealing too much damage too quick. There's no point in me trying to attack. That's, the, that's just no point. I may, as well, I may as well just join Morgana on the healing team. I gotta let, I gotta let On and, Mag and Morgana and Makoto do all the heavy lifting. I can't tell at all when it's gonna attack. You can't tell? That's not helping. You have to tell us, Mona. I can't help it. There are some things that even I can't do. So this is inside my heart. I didn't think it'd be like this. Huh? Do you remember? This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after mom died. That's correct. Look at the next one. This, this is... When mom jumped in front of that car. That's right. Now the next. No. Don't run. I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the Phantom Thieves. Okay. I'll look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died. I whined about wanting to go on a family trip. But she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what did you do? I threw a tantrum, told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. Ah. Uh, did she say, my research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it, even if it costs me my life. Did she hate you? She didn't? But what? She smiled. Ah, my head, it hurts, which is true. You're in my memories. Huh? You know, Shadow Top was a bit of a dick. I, d I hadn't noticed. Huh? Futaba? You came into your cognitive world? 
Mm hmm The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... That's... You killed her! No! Why don't you say something? It's your fault! It's my fault. It's my fault that Mom... Wait, is that monster her mother? Futaba's desires and guilt must uh, Wait, did, did it took you this long to figure out that that was her mom? Really? It, it took you that? Okay. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. You are Jesus, she's really putting herself down. Yeah, so none of this is true at all. Like she you, it's not your fault that any of this happened. What does she mean by that? Could she be talking about cognitive science? Nobody cares about me. Blit, that's not true. She was always such a bother. We're only here because you're only here because we care. Caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba Chan. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. Gonna be in deep shit if this keeps up. I feel like, like she should have killed us by now. So, because she thinks she killed her mother, and because she thinks she deserves to die, Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? Thanks for spelling that out for us. Look, there's no way that monster is your mother. It's just an illusion you created. B but she never abused you, did she? Boss told us. He said she did her best to raise you alone. Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Ugh. That's called gaslighting. You made your mother destroy all her research, Futaba Chan. She had worked so hard on this when she lost her mind. And it's all because of you. It's your fault. Mom, I... It's her shadow. Futaba Sakura, remember. You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. If you're gonna have an awakening and, and start to reject the lies and see the truth, now would be a really good time to do it. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me. Okay, good start, good start. Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart. Get mad. Don't forgive those rotten adults. It's because I couldn't face myself or mom's death. Even then, why did they have to yell at me like that? Yep. Yep. Now's a good time for you to, to, you to awaken. The giant bird demon thing is literally going to kill us in a second. Denies you is an illusion, a curse put upon you by the heartless. You knew from the very beginning, and yet you cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew, but I. It's all your fault. This time you'll be the one to die. Will you die as you are told? Who will you obey? Cursed words. Seething illusion, or the truth within your own soul. 
deceive me anymore and I won't be led astray by others voices either I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies there's no way you're my mom you're just a fake created by those horrid adults I'll I'll never I'll never forgive them come on awaken awaken yes here we go here we go now's your chance now's your chance Okay, gargoyle. The, the, what the? What? Um. Uh, uh, oh. 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 Oh no. It's oh. Oh. Um. 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 Okay, that could that, that I thought that I thought that was going in a very different direction than that. Okay. Alright, we're fine. All's well that ends well. It's okay. It's okay, everybody. False alarm. I thought we were gonna have an ultra sparrows moment for a second. That's nice. Bubble shield. Now it's our turn. Here goes. I'm summoning our ultimate weapon to the battlefield. Shadow the Hedgehog? You got him to come to this game? That works too. Okay. That's a nice way to bring it full circle. Yes. Ooh, who okay, who okay, so first things first. First things first. Holy hell the payoff. Like so um Makoto's arc was self-contained into like an hour is or less than that is and it was very fast paced, really fast transformation from good god I hate you to oh my god you're the best. But Futalos was a slow burn, it was a slow build over the course of the this entire like they're not it's not a chapter but this you know this list arc of Futaba's arc it's been slowly building up slowly getting more and more you've, you've heard little hints of, of those the dialogue from her from her, from her dad uh all throughout the, all throughout the palace and by in the form of the shadows and then the payoff comes in when when the reveal happens and it was all it was all bullshit that she that she didn't actually see those things about her and then then her moment comes that's that's the awakening that we were waiting for we're waiting all along for to have that awakening for her to break free of the lies and and she's standing strong she's she's emerged she's broken out of her shell and she's emerging strong in a in a ufo for some goddamn reason and she's gonna she has a bubble shield she spawned it she she acts as creative mode and spawned in a ballista for us to use she, I've you, you, you know you probably could have just you know dead slash kill on the demon save us some time but you know i'll accept it this time that's what, we, that's what we were waiting for. That was what we were waiting the whole time for, was for her to have that awakening moment. Now, another thing. Tentacles. All right. They, uh, that could have gone better. But it also could have gone a lot worse. I, I, I thought, I really thought when I saw that, we were, we were going to go down the route of Ultra Despair Girls. But thankfully, we did not do that. So, whew, dodge bolt on this one. But you know who's not going to be dodging bolts anytime soon? Her mother, who's floating above us like a giant dragon thing. Because, of course, that's what's happening right now. Now, the important question, who do we send to the Ballista? It might sound like a dumb idea to get to send our healer to do it, but the, basically this just means that I'm going to take the role of the healer. We need to get this done as fast as possible. We need to get this battle over with as fast as possible. I'm gonna, I want to keep our, our heavy-duty heavy dealer attackers here, and I will assume Morgana's role 
as the healer. And if I can't heal by myself, then I'll just change Makoto into a healer because I now know that she has awesome healing ability. So we'll just we'll just do that. I think I think Morgana's the best choice here. Do it. Do it. Do it. Shoot her out of the sky. And I guess I will attack. Or I'm gonna miss horribly. I guess because I don't have a ranged weapon equipped. But they do, fortunately. You know, this is true. She's got a point. No. Mom is gone. No matter how much I wish for her to be with me, it'll never come true. By the way, her costume is awesome. Her her, her new like super jazzed up techno hacker costume looks incredible. That's why I'll live in the real world, even if she's not there with me anymore. And I'm gonna live my life as free and happy. There we go. There we go. Finally. She's broken out of her shell. She's, she's going to leave the haunted house behind. You are the literal definition of a helicopter parent right now. Maybe you're right. Maybe you got a point. You know, yeah, just maybe. Maybe. Thanks for the bubble shield. So, so we just let her do all the work then? You could please phrase that better next time. Please phrase that in any other way next time. Okay, so can we at least do this from, from a distance? Since we can't since we obviously can't attack a normal, so let's do this instead. It's just to be able to do some kind of damage. Obviously, Ana Makoto are gonna be the ones who actually do the are the heavy hitters here, but at least I can try to do something. And I'm hoping that that SP adhesive is going to work out here. But we are not doing damage that quickly. Furtaba, you failed! Failure! You were supposed to you were supposed to warn me when you attack. Damn it, Furtaba. I, we're all knocked down. We're all... Oh, oh my... Um... Problem. We're... Okay. On. So, the, where's the bubble shield? Furtaba, you failure! Furtaba, where's my bubble shield? I expected a bubble shield there. You did not give me a bubble shield. Nice! Nice shot! Oh. Okay, I'm not sure how that didn't deal damage to us, but I'll, I'll knock him. Okay. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna fall for the bait. I'm not- I'm not taking the greed. I am restoring health to our team. I'm restoring health to everyone here. Play it safe, and let Ana Makoto do all the hard work. On's back up. Do it. K kick her ass. Kick her teeth down her throat. Nice. Good. Do your thing, Makoto. Very good. Good. Very good. You as well. Come on, Morgana. I don't... The, the, pro, bigger issues, but okay. Are you going to stick around? Okay, we you can stick around for more. All right. Attack, attack, attack. Very good. I'm, I'm still not doing as much as they are, but it's at least we're doing... You know, okay, you know what? She's almost at half health. She's almost at half health. That's pretty damn good. She's not all the way at half health, but she's almost there. Which is that... You know what? I'll take that. I will accept having gotten her to almost half health. Oh, now what? Now what? Are you, are you gonna roar at us? Oof. I, I'm, I'm so scared. Don, can you please pick better words for these things? Ay, yeah, yeah. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. I may not be doing anything. I may not be. I may be. It may take a thousand years to actually take her down. But you know what? We have it. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, that's what they're inflicted. Oh. Oh no. God damn it. Why is. Why does Danganronpa ruin everything? Even games that has no connection to at all? Oh, do I, can I... Do I have anything to cure? Okay, I can cure... Oh, oh, I only have one. Oh, great. Alright, well... Of anyone who needs to be cured of despair, it's you. So let's get you out of that. And get you back into the fight. Because 
Good Lord Almighty, no one should have to suffer the wrath of despair in any circumstance ever again. Jesus Christ, suffer from this. Morgana despairs. Oh, what fun. Oh, Jesus. You know, Futaba, you're supposed to be telling me when she attacks, so you can, and then you can supposed to be you. You're supposed to be doing a bubble shield, Futaba. Where's the bubble shield? I demand bubble shield. I've not, been, I've not been given bubble shield. You're failing. You were, you were, you weren't failing for a while there. You're doing great for a while there, and now you've gone back to failing again. I, I demand bubble shield. I demand the bubble shield. I'm not getting bubble shield though. All right, well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It, it, again, it may take a thousand years, but we're still slowly and steadily doing damage to her. But I think I think we can knock her down below. What? What? She's just dead? What is this bullshit? Huh? She literally, she literally dies? Why is, why is that a thing? So if you don't cure them of despair, wow, Dagorapa just kills everything it touches. Jesus, literally. So if you do not cure them of despair, you're just dead. You literally just die then. That's nice. I mean, we're pro okay. I we might not survive this. I don't. I don't know if I have enough healing items to do, to do this. I'm I'm not confident enough to take a gamble yet, and because I need to heal, I need to heal Morgana, and I need to heal him fast. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping, I'm hoping that you'll, I'm hoping that she'll go easy on me this time, and, and I can, I can survive. Don't don't do it again. Okay, is that it? Is that all you're gonna do? Okay, I can survive that. Hopefully, never mind. I can't survive that. I need. Okay, I need to heal everyone. I need to heal the whole team. Oh God damn it. Okay. I need, I need to heal, just get the whole team up. Uh, fully restored, will this also, okay, it won't, it won't affect Morgana, but it's, it's better than nothing. Just, just get, everyone, get everyone's health back to full. I need, I need to revive Morgana, I need to revive, assuming, because usually when Morgana, usually when a teammate dies, they just say, oh no, I'm down, oh, sorry Joker, you're on your own, I'm gonna go hide for a bit. No, they didn't say that this time, she, he's just dead. Morgana's just chilling on the ground. Yeah, like, literally just not saying anything. So I'm hoping I can revive him, but I don't know if I actually can. Oh, Jesus. Okay. This... I'm not... Oh, again, I... Why, my God! Like, I, I need to revive the team, but I can't revive the team. Or I, I need to revive Morgana, but I can't revive Morgana, because you keep... She keeps... If I don't keep healing, then I'm never gonna... The, the, then Joker just dies, and we can't have Joker be di we can't have Joker die. So I think I think I think I, have, I think I have to wait until she get until we shoot her again with the ballista. Although I guess no one's actually at the ballista right now, so that's a bit of a problem. Can so can we do something to her, please? Or, or was the ballista a one-time thing? The ballista might have just been a one-time thing. Okay, um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take the risk. I, I'm I'm gonna take the gamble, and I'm I'm just gonna hope that Morgana is going to. Heal me as soon as as soon as he gets back up. Please heal me, Morgana. Please, I beg of you, Morgana. I, I need you to heal me. Please heal me. Or 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 just you heal someone. Please. Thank you, Morgana. Do the heal. Do the heal. Okay. Hope I was hoping for me, but that, I guess that's fine. At least at least you healed someone. So, let's just hope that no one else gets c c catches a case of despair. Because I can't deal with that if they do. I cannot deal with it if someone else catches despair. Because I, I, I used my last thing, my last item to fix that. So, please don't cast despair. Don't summon your inner dang and rob on anyone else, please. We can't take that. We we can't. We don't have. We don't have the materials to take that. And we. I guess so. I guess the bullet still was a one-time thing. So I don't have the option to send anyone to it anymore. Uh, which means we might just have, we might just be stuck here. Uh, forever. So that could be probably, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna guard now. Now that we have Morgana up, I'm just gonna guard and brace for the impact and let them do all the work. And hope that this, and hope we can take this down in a bit of a timely manner. That's kind of my biggest problem with the, with the Persona 5 bosses so far. Because like, the main combat is, is, is fine, but the bosses themselves aren't, they're not challenging in the sense that you have to come up with a strategy. It's more of challenging in the sense that you just, it's just whittling them down slowly monotonously 
over the course of, of the over the course of the battle. So it's kind of frustrating because it's not it's not a it's not a sense of strength or challenging or anything. It's like it's not a sense of challenge in terms of a strategy. It's just a, it's a it's a it's a test of your patience as to how long you can sit here and keep continually lowering whittling down their health bar. Uh, so that's that's I've not been a fan of the because that's been basically every battle so far is just whittling away their health bar bit by bit, little by little until they eventually die. So I've not quite been a fan of that so far. But, you know, maybe maybe it'll surprise me in the second half of this, of this battle, because, believe it or not, we're not even halfway done yet. We still have a long way to go. That, that health bar is still not even below the halfway point, which is agonizing. Very agonizing, actually. But at least we have the team back up at full strength, so... Well, I, I, at least I was going to say that before Morgana almost got dunked on. And you as well. Okay, well, it's time to bring out the healing. No, don't do it again. My Jesus Christ, you have really have it out for us, don't you? Alright, let's get this out for heal everyone up again. And then we're gone, come on, pick up the slack to, to finish up what I miss. And then you can do, yeah, this is just... Yeah, I'm really really not a fan of the boss battles. The, the big boss battles, they all just kind of fall into the same category of slow, tedious, monotonous health whittling away. So... If I have one major criticism of this game so far, and it's really only one, it's just that the boss battles are so, so slow. Like, it'd be one thing if you had to figure out a, a, a unique strategy as to, like, what their weakness was and how to work together. So, for instance, the the first phase of the Madarame boss battle, I thought was going to be really cool. Because it seemed like a thing where you had to you had to get their health low enough to the point where uh, you, you, you have to kill all of them at once. You have to deliberately wait to kill all of them at once because if you didn't kill all the pieces of his face at once, then they would just get back up, right back up afterwards. I thought that was what they were doing. That would have been cool. But then it turned into a second phase where the second phase was literally just a case of whittling down their health bar a little by little. So, you know, that's not, I've not been a fan of that so far. Because there's nothing I can really do except just keep constantly healing, constantly guarding until eventually... Until eventually, they the, their health bar reaches zero, which is not really how I want bosses to be designed. Like I, I'm much for a boss where there's a little bit of strategy involved in how you take them down, rather than just just spamming attacks until eventually they die. Like this just is not fun at all. The other boss battles always had this kind of thing where it's just whittling them down, but this one's especially egregious. Can we please use the ballista that's right behind us, please? Like, this is- this is taking fucking forever. Hey, question. Do you think if I bring in Ryuji and Yusuke, that'll allow me to, um... That'll allow me to get their- their Showtime event and end this fucking battle already? That'd be cool. If I could get that- let, let's do- let's get them in here. Let's get- let's get you out of here. Switch you out for Yusuke. Um... Yeah, see you later, buddy. And okay, I guess I can only switch one for now. But... I'm just hoping, because that would also be of use. That would also help. You have that is also of great use. That you knowing you have that, yes. But I'm hope I'm hoping you're gonna give me your showtime, because I this is just taking. I've been here for like half an hour at this point. Oh my Jesus Christ! And he's already almost. If you hit him again, and he's and he's already dead. And he's already dead. Just. Oh my god. It's that's it's fine. I can just get him back up. But good Christ almighty. I apologize. Hey, are you okay? This is not fun. This is the this is the worst part of the game so far. This is like this is actually not fun. Now let's get Ryuji in here and just hope for the best. Can you please do your showtime thing? I'd love it if you could do it. Just, just, just do something to get this over with. Why are we not using the ballista that's literally right behind us? God, she hits him every time. She's gonna do it again, aren't you?
Even the impossible can be made possible. Are you finally gonna let me use the ballista again? Oh, thank. You know, it would have been great if you could have given us that bubble shield for the past 20 fucking minutes. Oh, oh, now I can use the ballista again. Now I can use the ballista again. Again, would have been great if I could have done that throughout the entire battle until this point. Also, we're sending you back there because you, like, you literally can't survive in a single hit without dying miserably. So, I just need to keep you away from the line of fire as much as I can. And then just hope that you two can do something. Please shoot her down. Please shoot her down. I can't take this shit anymore. End my end my torment. I beg you, Yusuke, do something. You have a giant fucking gun. Please use it. Not a gun, you know what I mean. And stop telling him to aim the tip at her. This is okay. I have no okay, so I need to, I need to stock up on, on health supplies. So I need to get two SP adhesives for the other two party members, and I need to get a lot of healing items through because I've used up almost my entire supply of healing items in just this one battle alone. Which is absurd. Now what? Can do it again? Great. Okay, not ideal. I swear, don't you knock me down now. Oh my god, you're hanging on by a thread. Okay, can we end this? Can we do it now? Can we shoot her down and get this over with? Please let, please let this end. Come on. That's still not her dead, or is it? Is she dead now? Is that it? Are we, are we over? Did we do it? No, okay, not you. Still, it's an attacker, okay. Just attack her. This had better be, this had better be fucking it. This had better be it. Please, oh please, let this be the final showdown. No? Still no. Okay, well, I'm playing it safe, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna get- I'm gonna recover everyone's health in that case. If it's not the end, then I'm playing it safe, I'm not taking any chances. Come on, please. Please let this be the final hit. Please. Please! No, don't- no, 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 no. Okay, good. Just more, just more. Come on, attack, attack, attack. Someone finish the fight. Someone, please kill her. Come on. You have one pixel of health left. I can sneeze on you and it would kill you. Please die. Just end it all. Oh, thank God. Thank fucking God. You know, I really wish I could feel the emotion of this, Power courses through me. but at, when you, when, after that grueling boss battle, I'm just, I, like, I, I just feel relief, essentially. Um, so, yeah, it's not, I'm not, uh, can I please get rid, can I please get rid of this? Good God, thank you for setting my input. I'd like to try this skill soon. That was just, that was, that was the worst part. That was the least fun I've ever had playing this game. That is undoubtedly the least amount of fun I've had throughout this entire video game. Futaba. Damn, you're freaking incredible.
incredible. Really? Are you sure about that? Because she sat around on her ass for about half of that goddamn battle. Whoa, what in the world? Ooh, it's totally skin tight. Another thing showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba, thank you for choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Mom! Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Are you being selfish again? Um, I... I love you, Mom. I love you too, Futaba. Now, you should get going. <sighs> oh, right, Majed. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. Oh, great. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Like you're one to talk. But if we have her on our side... Wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? <laughs> What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure, and she's gone, so of course it's empty. So the real treasure was literally the friends we made along the way. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. Th that happens all the time. The, the palace always we collapses. We our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise. Gonna slide down the pyramid. Okay, maybe not slide down, but you did run down the pyramid. The grip on those tires must be incredible to navigate a sand with that ease. Hey. You guys still alive? I thought I was gonna die and... Uh, hey! Will you let go already? <laughs> <gasps> Sorry! Not again. What was that sound? Hmm? What are you guys doing out here? Reminds me, where's Futaba? What about Futaba? Oh, uh, yes. We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? That was the worst cover story in the history of cover stories. Oh, that's a great idea. That's fine, but it, it, I'm not thirsty though. You escape. Oh, I almost forgot. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. Okay, gotcha. A gentle reminder that these people are idiots. Let's go see Futaba. What? Yeah, you're gonna let wait, Futaba? You don't think he's gonna have a question as to why literally everyone that is not me is in his shop right now? Can you hear me? Please say something. Please. Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? You do. Can you contact them? A house call is gonna cost you, you know. 
How much will it be? That was a joke. No, I don't think it was. I just think she meant that it was going to cost me in other ways. Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? Mm. I think that would be best. Letting him know is really the only option we have. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, Butaba? Hey! Mm. Uh. <sighs> oh dear. Uh, um, about Futaba. Hmm? Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm gonna go close the store. Oh, now you're gonna close the store. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. When it makes more sense for me to close the store, you're the one who, who leaves the house to go do it, but when it makes no sense that you to close the store, you make me do it. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay. But what are we gonna do about Majed? Uh, she's up! Mm, Majed. Mm, tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep again?! Butaba chan For a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up, either. What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. I'm assuming that'll be the end for today. Well, after this message exchange, of course. Here's some company's info got leaked. It seems the private dealings of a large corporation were publicly disclosed. Caused quite a stir. People wondering if Medjid's behind it. Um... Just ignore that. Seems to be a minor thing, quite different from what Medjid told himself now. Is that so? So it wasn't Medjid? Damn, that just freaked me out. Honestly, kind of hard not to have a knee-jerk reaction to the stuff nowadays. Sometimes people react to these situations by pleading for help from the Phantom Thieves. They find a way to stand up for them. <sighs> Keep us with her, I'm sure everything will be okay. Can wait for Futaba to wake up. Okay, so, um... I'm just gonna be blunt. I, I said it before, I'll say it again. That is That was, without a shadow of a doubt, the least amount of fun I've ever had playing this game. Which really sucks. Because that, the palace itself was the best one so far. The way, the way it, it merged the more emotional storytelling with the, with the typical exploration and the puzzle solving. The puzzles themselves were a lot more intricate to, to go about. I love the theming and the, how it meshed the more hacker digital style with the more retro style Indiana Jones exploration. I loved everything about that palace until the final boss happened. At which point, the bosses had always been bullet sponges up until... Or, I guess not both, but you know what I mean. They they turned they tanked a lot of damage, but that was especially egregious. That took over half a fucking hour to defeat. That was that was insane. So, uh, it sucks that the palace was just it, it ended on such a sour note. But at least it's over now. So there's that I suppose. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time to catch you all tomorrow or later today, whenever, for some more Persona Five Royal. Goodbye.